Welcome back, graphing experts. Now we're going to try dot plots. Here we have a table that tells us the number of customers that bought different numbers of cookies. Let's turn this into a dot plot. We'll start with a title like we did with the others, and then now we're going to plot this information along a number line. So the number of cookies will go along the bottom here, and then along the top or above the number line, that will be our frequency area, the number of customers. The most number of customers we have here is six, and we could make six dots. It's not like the cookie situation where we had 100, so I'm just going to let each dot represent one customer. Now, normally you'll see these as dots or X's, but I made mine a happy little cookie face customer because that's more fun. So how many customers bought one cookie? We're just going to put that above the one, and it's six. So one, two, three, four, five, six customers bought one cookie. And then how many customers bought two? That's five, so five customers there. And then three customers on three, and two customers on four, and four customers on five. And ta-da, we've made a dot plot. Now, like all good dot plot makers, we need to be able to answer some questions about our dot plot. So let's see here. How many customers bought three or more cookies? Three or more cookies. Well, the number of cookies is along the bottom, so here's three. Three or more will be three or four or five. And we're looking for how many customers. Remember, the customer area is above the number line. So we had three customers here, two customers here, and four customers here. So if we want to know how many that is, we're just going to add those up, and we see that that's nine customers. Okay, one for the road. Here we want to know how many cookies did most customers buy. Most customers. Remember that the customer area is up here, so where do you see the most customers? Well, I see the most customers in this column here, and that's got a one under it. Most customers bought one cookie? Whew, craziness.